are several ways to import five or five thousand songs or more into PowerGold. This video will focus on the interactive text file import, which can be found under Database. Simply choose Import from a text file. But let's back up a bit and look at the text file we want to import. Here is an example of a simple text file in which there are distinct columns of information. These kinds of files are most commonly referred to as fixed width or space delimited and is one of the easiest of the interactive imports that can be performed as each column is lined up with unique information. Here is an example of a tab delimited file. Since each field of information is immediately followed by an invisible tab symbol, the preview looks jumbled until PowerGold is told it is a tab delimited file. Now that we've had a look at the text file, let's start again with Database, Import from a text file. Since this is a new import, New will be chosen to launch the text file import template setup which is the beginning step in performing an import. The first order of business in step one is choosing Select Import File, which displays the open box. Find the text file to import. The one we're going to import is music-fixed-width.txt. Once the text file is open, you will see a sample view. Since our text file is fixed width or space delimited, everything lines up into nice columns like this one. In step two, fixed width is chosen as the default import method. Our text file does have a description row as the first line, so click the counter up to one to let PowerGold know to begin the import on line two. We have one line of information per song, so no need to change number of rows per record. We do, however, have a few duets in this text file with a slash symbol separating each individual artist. Therefore, the character used to separate artists will be a slash. Since this file does not contain composers, its field can be left blank. The most important part of performing a text file import is to tell PowerGold where each new column of information begins and to map that information to an equal field in PowerGold. Simply place a B above each column of new information to denote its beginning location. The B toggles on and off. So if you make a mistake and place a B in the wrong column, just click the B again and it will disappear. Once we have blocked each unique column of information, the next step is to use field mapping. Go through one at a time and click on the blank gray box above each column. Choose from the list of fields the one you want assigned to each column. Most of the fields in this text file map to existing fields in PowerGold. However, the tempo field is a property. When you get to this column under Field Type, choose Property Group to bring up a list of properties. There already happens to be a tempo property, so we will choose it as the map field for that column. Incidentally, had tempo not already existed as a property group, Simply create one on the fly by choosing Create New Property Group and making one called Tempo. After the fields have been mapped, it's time to move on to Step 3 by clicking Next. In this situation, ignore all of the Modify options below, as we are going to be adding new songs to the library, not modifying or updating existing ones. Since the text file does not contain a category as part of its information, we'll choose a category in which we want the songs imported. If you know your file will not contain category information, it's a good idea to create a new category before the entire importing process. Earlier, 
I created a category called imported songs and it is the one I'm choosing for the import. Clicking next brings up the finished screen giving the opportunity to save the field blocking and mapping from step two as a template to use again should you want to import another list of songs that are in the exact column order as this one, saving time by not having to block and map each field again. Whether you use a template again or not, it must be given a name. Click Finish to do this. I'll call this template New. Clicking OK takes us back to the first screen we saw upon entering the text import area where you will now see the new template name. In this example, songs are only being added and therefore want to make the appropriate choice. Click Use the file specified in the template. Notice the path and file name appears. Finally, click Perform the text file import. When finished, an Import Complete message appears. Acknowledge the message, close the text file import box, and check your work. The end result of this process was to add songs to the Imported Songs category. Click the Music button on the Imported Songs category and see what PowerGold did. If everything imported into their mapped fields as expected, then you have successfully performed a text file import. Congratulations! But if you spot a problem such as the first letter missing on each artist, it can be presumed that something went wrong when indicating the beginning of the artist column. At that point you must restore a backup and do the text file import again. There is no undo button when performing any kind of import into PowerGold, so be sure to make a backup before you try any kind of import. If you have an idea for a PowerGold video, let us know. Thanks for watching.